Well, giving new life to a room in your home could be as simple as adding some trendy new wallpaper. Experts at Angie's List say it's getting a lot fancier and it can also be expensive. When you think about wallpaper, you probably don't think fine art. But Walter Kanabi does, and he and a handful of others across the country create screen-printed wallpaper. Their craft dipped in popularity a few years ago, but it's on the upswing now. There's a resurgence, and uh, the resurgence is um, very exciting because it's neat to see some of the younger people embracing it, and um, a lot of them have fine art backgrounds like I did. Kanabi said one thing to consider when investing in wallpaper like his is that walls aren't the only frame for it. Lots of people are papering their ceilings to give an unusual accent to their space, something that was highly popular in the Victorian era. Um, now it's a great way to uh, make a statement without actually doing the walls. Like most fine art, this kind of wallpaper isn't cheap. And given its price, Angie Hicks says you might want to rethink whether this is a DIY job. Wallpaper is getting fancier these days. It can be up to $100 a roll. And if you're going to spend that much on materials, you might want to make sure it's hung well by hiring a pro. For most of us, picking out the wallpaper design is much more fun than installing it. Experts say it's not uncommon for them to have to spend time repairing walls and doing extra prep work because of the damage by well-intentioned DIYers. If you don't like tedious stuff, you want to stay out of the stripping business because it's, it's uh, and hanging, really, hanging wallpaper is a tedious process too. So, um, you know, a lot of times you get what you pay for. Typically a professional is going to charge about $30 a roll to hang wallpaper.